Hey there folks, uh, Derek Pierce here from TrafficDiesel.com and in this video I'm showing you a software off for uh, finding expired domains and the software is called Domain Hunter Gatherer. Now the cool thing about this is this allows you to go out and find domains that have already been dropped. They're not in the auctions, they're expired domains so they've, they've already been through the auction process, they've already been dropped. However, with that being said, we're still able to find domains that have got, that have got really good backlinks and really good metrics and um, something that we can pick up for the regular price of registration. So I wanted to do this video to show you exactly how this works. I hadn't seen a whole lot of people talking about this. This is absolutely the best software that I've come across. I've tested a bunch of stuff uh, for when it comes to this. And so I wanted to show you, and you can see I've been running this for a little over two days now and you'll see we've got right now it's scraped and got it's got 15,662 domains and you'll see the available domains matching my filters is 623 now what that means is I can put some filters into domain hunter gatherer and it will fil filter them all out so like whether it be trust flow you've got domain authority page authority you can really pick whatever it is that you want to do now the cool thing about this is that I'm able to have these filters put into play so that way I'm not going in and having to sort out 15,000 domains. So you can see this, I just wanted to show you how it's running, it's running really good, 623 domains. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna click stop campaign just to kind of show you some of the uh, some of the things that is really cool about the software and kind of show you how to navigate this thing. So you can see right here, we can, uh, we go right here and at the very beginning you can, you can hunt domains from keywords if you wanted to do that so like if you wanted to just do a search for you know a keyword that's based in your niche if you were looking for domains that were in your particular niche only personally I don't really care about that I'm not really looking for anything that's niche specific however that's something that's there you could tell it how many crawl levels you want and you could do a search for there now what I'm doing is I'm hunting from uh, expired domains from websites okay so I can put in a website let's say I wanted to put in a uh, Wikipedia I could put in the Wikipedia website right here if I wanted to and it would crawl that website now what I've done I've taken a step further and I'm using Scrapebox to scrape all the URLs from Wikipedia uh, WebMD Whitehouse.gov all these other sites right and I'm putting them into a crawl page list so we're able to click this button right here and you can see you can see this right here where it says wiki seed 400,000 URLs this is just one of them so I can click on this and this will put pull a list of URLs that I've scraped from wikipedia.org and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be searching for domains that have wikipedia links that that are bro that's broken links okay and so what the system will automatically do is it's going to check and see if the domains are available it will check in for the trust flow it will check the domain authority it's got all these different metrics that you can look at as you can see right here you see it's got the domain here PR age uh, the, the TLD you've got if it's Google indexed and you've got all these other metrics that you can see right here and you can sort through these as you see fit. Now the main things that I'm looking at is obviously trust flow. I want to get anything uh, above a certain trust flow number. I prefer 10. I, I want to look at anything that's above 10 and I'm also looking at um, the Moz domain authority. I'm looking for anything above 10 from there. So the you know obviously the higher the number and with a good backlink profile you're going to be getting some really good quality domains. If you've not seen my series for buying PBNs and setting up a PBN, I recommend that you check it out. I'll put a link below this video. I'll also put one right here on the screen. It's uh, trafficdiesel.com slash PBN. This walks you through the entire process of being able to uh, set up your own PBN. And I cover all this stuff in that as far as the metrics and all that good stuff and how to set up the hosting and all that. Now, what you can do right here is you can do filter domains and you can see I've got several filters built into this whenever I was doing the scan. So you can see I've got a .com, .net, .org, .us, .biz, .info, .us, um, and then I've got the Majestic Trust Flow of 10 and anything above a 10 on the domain authority so that's filtering all those out and the reason why I did those those types of domains is because like the dot dot us dot biz dot info dot uh, com dot net dot org if you don't do that you're gonna get all these different um, 
uh, TLD extensions and you're not going to be able to even buy them. Some of them are, are ones that you just can't even, uh, that you can't buy. So I just wanted to just focus on those and I've got more than enough to actually look at. So what you could do here is once you get this sorted out and once you get a, a good scrape going, you can just go in here and you can export the selected domains and you can export it into a CSV file. So you can see I'm going to export this. We're going to call this uh, wiki domain domain list three. So I'm going to name it and I'm going to save that. And uh, what you can do here is, I mean, you can look at the domains from this from this point. But what I like to do is, this is on a uh, virtual machine, so I like to take the domains and copy them over to my other machine and do a little bit more analysis. What I want to do from there is, I want to look at the Wayback Machine. I want to look at the links that that's pointed to it. I want to make sure that I'm not buying something that's been spammed to death. And again, I cover all that in that free the free training that I talked talked about. Um, now you go right here, you can go to analyze domains, you can see this is all the different filters that you can set up. You've got plus one, Google plus ones, likes, shares, comments, tweets, majestic links. You've got all these different checks that you can plug in here if that's something that you want to do. Again, I'm just looking for uh, just a few things here. I'm looking for the majestic, the majestic and as well as the Moz the numbers there. I, that's that's mainly what I'm wanting to focus on. Um, something else that I really like within this system is you've got a couple other things. You've got Domain Auction Hunter. I've never used this, but this is something that's available as well that's part of this. I don't use this, um, but I have used the Web 2.0 Hunter. And what this allows you to do, this will scrape Web 2.0s for expired Web 2.0 uh, that you can go in and re uh, register. Okay, So if you go right here to this if you go to this check page list, well, let me go here. It's uh, filter web twos. Okay, so you can add all kinds of different filters for that as well. You can do the search settings. That's what I was looking for. Search settings. You can pick which ones you want, which one of these sites that you want to look for. So you've got all these different web 2.0 websites that you can do a search for and it will actually go out and it will find expired ones that you can then turn around and try to go back and, and register again. So this is a Domain Hunter Gatherer and uh, again I highly recommend this. This is the best tool that I've been able to find when it comes to being able to quickly pick up domains. You can pick up a ton of these uh, for your PBN. This is what a lot of guys are doing to sell some of the PBN services that you see. They're going in, they're finding these domains that have existing links but that have already been dropped and they're going in and being able to pick these up for $10. Each one of these domains that you're seeing here, you could go in and register them for $10 or whatever the registration fee is or whoever you're going through and you're able to use these, like I said, for your PBN or you, if you've got a PBN service, you can actually start selling some of these domains off or selling links to them. There's a ton of things that you can do. But again, this is a Domain Hunter Gatherer. So I uh, highly recommend that you pick this up. And uh, what I'll do is I'm going to put together a special bonus. And if you, for those of you that take part in Domain Hunter Gatherer, then, uh, then you'll get the bonus if you order through my link. I'll have all the details on my page. Uh, the link will be below this video. So just check that out. And I look forward to seeing you real soon. This is Derek Pierce. Take care and talk to you then.